गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर नित्यश्री आई एम डूइंग माई रेसिडेंसी इन रेडियोलॉजी इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ रेडियो डायग्नोसिस इन पी जी आई एम एस रोहतक टूडे आई एम गॉन बी प्रेजेंटिंग रिगार्डिंग द स्टडी ऑफ नी एनाटोमिकल वेरिएबल्स एस रिस्पेक्टर्स प्री डिस्पोजिंग टू एंटीरियर क्रोशियट लिगमेंट इंजरी यूजिंग एम आर आई मॉफोमेट्री द एंटीरियर क्रोशियट लिगमेंट इज द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली इंजर्ड लिगमेंट ऑफ द नी एंड सम पीपल आर एट ग्रेटर रिस्क ऑफ टेयरिंग द ए सी एल दैन अदर्स Various factors have been proposed to contribute to the development of an ACL tear. There are differences in bony morphology between the ACL injured and the non-injured subjects. The aim of today's presentation is to study the knee anatomical variables as risk factors predisposing to the anterior cruciate ligament injury using MRI morphometry. Objectives are to assess the anatomical variables of the of uh, tibia such as plateau slopes and medial plateau depth. on mri in anterior cruciate ligament injured and non injured patients to assess anatomical variables of distal femoral morphology such as medial and lateral condyle width notch width and notch index between the anterior cruciate ligament injured and non injured patients on mr to determine whether these variables are risk factors of acl injury uh, this is a case control study of acl injured versus non injured patients presented to the department of radio diagnosis at pgms rotak knee mris of 400 patients were studied of which 200 were acl injured and 200 were controls with normal acl after matching for age sex and predisposing factors post operative knees inflammatory septic hemophiliac and degenerative arthritis were excluded distal femur and proximal tibia morphology were studied with respect to different parameters on multiplanar mri statistical analysis was done and odds ratio were calculated um i have put up a picture of the knee mri uh, where you can see the notch entrance notch width bicondylar width and index at the level of the popliteal groove uh our observations were that in different age groups there were significant bony morphology differences between acl injured and non injured patients significant di- difference of bicondylar width and intercondylar notch width between male and female patients were noted among the male group between injured and non injured acl patients there was significant difference in notch width index medial posterior tibial slope and medial plateau depth were also noted there is a narrower notch width in acl injured men with respect to non injured there were no significant difference in lateral posterior tibial slopes these were the data collected in the stab- table we are, um, you can see the measurements of notch notch width index and medial and lateral tibial slopes in degrees and medial tibial slope in depth in male and female patients respectively in uh, acl injured and non injured uh, from this study we concluded that the acl injured have narrower notch width index and shallow medial tibia depth and steeper um, medial tibial uh, slope which appear as important risk factors identifying these risk factors helps in stratification of intervention and non intervention strategies of acl injuries these were the references thank you